So I've come to reports of no heating at this boiler. It is one of these old Drayton or British gas stats, so the same thing. Receiver light is on, so unlikely to be that, but there's a potential the receiver, in my experience, isn't sending power back. But we shall see. Let's get this open. So I must mention that they said the hot water is working fine. So the first thing we will go to, this is a Worcester Green Star. First thing we'll go to is set your multimeter onto AC voltage, which is normally the V with the little swirly line there. Let's put my light on. Then on the Worcesters, we'll be testing between Earth down here and LR. So these connections are live, which is your permanent live into the boiler, neutral into the boiler. And then you've got LS, which is a live supply. So that's the same as your common or a permanent live going to the receiver. And LR stands for live return, which is your switch live when the receiver's got power coming back to the boiler. So let's test to make sure we've got voltage everywhere first. So earth against live, we have 240. And then neutral against earth, we're looking for 0 to 15, which is perfect. Then the live supply, we want 240, we have it. And the live return, again, we want 240, but we've only got 30 volts, which means that that receiver isn't sending the correct power through. You can also test that by putting a link in between LS and LR or L and LR. Not all receivers will have the LS in. They'll just put a link between common or one or the permanent live and the, whichever one there. So yeah. So we've picked up the ESI stat. First things first, we're going to pop the power off, carry out your safe isolation. So then we'll move on to it. So pop this off and on the old one, we have neutral live, common or your LS is one. And on this, your switch live or your calling is number three. But on the new one, we have neutral live, common is one, which is your LS again. And the switch live or the LR is number two. So we just got to change over the back plate. So this one's a little bit more confusing if you're not used to wiring because they've gone from the fuse spur to the programmer or receiver and then they'll go from this to the boiler. So you'll have two lives, two neutrals, two earths, but still same concept and easy enough. So we want our blues in the end. I'm gonna need two hands for this. Okay, there's nowhere to put the camera, so I'm gonna to need to use two hands for this and then show you once it's done and go through the wires. So as you can see here, we've got a blue in the neutral, brown in the live, gray in the one or common or LS, and black in the two or LR or switch light whichever you prefer and then just show off so let's get the thermostat on and show it working i'll show the wiring up top again let's get rid of this and add the finishing touch
two double A batteries on these. And they will pair automatically once you put the power back on. You can instantly see, I slide that to manual. Turn that up. Boiler fire straight away now. Turn it down. Light goes off. Boiler goes off. Back up. Light on, boiler on. And I'll show you the wiring again. So we now have power on our Earth LR 240 volts. Because before we only had 30 volts. Heating's back up and running. With a nicely branded ESI stat. So we have a Potterton Mini Minder here that's coming out on this boiler install. And I've opted to go with my favorite. ESI two channel wired programmer, the ES2247B. Now on the back of here, should be a nice easy one. Neutral, live, power on is three, heating on is four, which should be the same in this. And we have neutral, live, hot water on, is number three i don't know why they do it in this cross fashion but they always have for some strange reason hot water on is three and you're normally off is one heating on is four so nice easy switch over up here you've got your blue red neutral live obviously carry out your safe isolation before you do this i got the power all turned off because i'm on the boiler install and it's all been tested three is your hot water on so when that gets power, that will send power to the common on the cylinder stat. Then four is your heating on, which will then, once that gets power energized, will then send power onto your room stat supply, which obviously once you turn the room stat up, will go over to the zone valves. Uh, should be a nice, easy swap over. So we've got our same, same, but different. So neutral, live. Three is hot water on, four is heating on. And unfortunately, my fancy covers don't fit on this with my branded faceplate thing, but nevertheless, still a nice updated programmer. With all your normal options. Just a little addition to. The end of the last video with a wiring diagnosis so there was a couple of little videos on wiring first was diagnosis when the reports were hot water working fine no heating even though they're turning the thermostat on and off doing what they should be on their side we went through the diagnosis what you'd expect to see in the boiler itself what you'd expect to see at the cylinder uh, receiver cylinder i don't know why i said that and how to replace, what the new one had, what it needed. And the second was a light for light programmer swap, but a really old programmer, the Miniminder, it's got to be like 30 years old and then bring it up to something brand new. I appreciate for a lot of people, this is really basic stuff. 
but there's actually a lot of people that struggle with wiring not for their own fault no one's ever really taught wiring properly and the only way to keep getting better at it is to keep doing it but often there's jobs that they just don't come around especially full re rewires which i want to get into at some point which would be really fun if i can get one to do and film but often i know a lot of boiler companies now or people installing boilers for companies they don't even do their own wiring anymore an electrician comes and does it so yeah hopefully that was helpful to someone and there should be more coming along the way because i like to get involved in that kind of stuff i used to hate it wiring i've been on multiple wiring courses none of them ever made sense it was only when i started working for a company who nobody else could also wire and i ended up with all the wiring jobs because i was their like breakdown guy so it it then became a bit of second nature i still struggle with some things we always will but most of the time i'm okay with it and it's just through having to go to that dark place with it hating it like we're presented with diagrams and multiple different colors actually it's easier with colors sometimes you're presented with a wiring center with just a load of black wires and you're like oh so yeah keep at it wiring not to sound patronizing or anything it is hard it is difficult it's probably a lot of our weakest points but it is just repetitiveness keep going over it keep doing it the worst that can happen is you blow a fuse or a circuit board i may or may not have done that a long long time ago like 15 years ago um long story 240 volt wire into the 24 volt on my first ever boiler install on my own so it happens um but yeah keep on it and hopefully i'll get some more videos up showing some wiring and bits and pieces thanks again for watching don't forget to like subscribe follow wherever it is um, appreciate the support appreciate all the comments even the negative ones they they open debate at least so yeah keep watching thank you